so moving on then we've decided what strings we're going to use we've strung them up they're nowhere near the correct tuning um, when you're starting out when you're building the guitar or if you've taken the strings off and the bridge is a floating bridge and it's probably moved um, we need to set the bridge position um, and this gives us uh, what we call a correct intonation um, you might have come across that term intonation is basically the ability of the guitar to play the right note in the right position so um, it's all to do with scale length uh, for one thing the scale length on the guitar is measured from the point that the strings make with the nut here to the point that they make with the bridge or saddle here that length is known as the scale length not too important um, in our case um, assuming that you've made a guitar you've already worked out the, the fret positions of, of where you want them to be uh, I simply take them from a guitar that I've already got um, mark them onto a piece of wood as a template and then uh, duplicate them on the neck so intonation as far as we're concerned is making sure that the note played on the 12th fret is actually an octave higher than the note played on the open string uh, it's the same on a standard guitar the 12th fret is or should be the distance between the nut and the 12th fret should be the same as the distance between the 12th fret and the bridge if it's not then the octave note uh, won't play correctly at the 12th fret it could be down at the 11th or up at 13th so before we do any tuning that is the first thing that we need to get right okay so how do we do that um, we're not going to bother with measuring scale lengths in theory um, the distance as I mentioned the distance between the nut and the 12th and the 12th and the bridge should be exactly the same in practice it's not always spot on and that may be something to do with stretching of the strings when you fret it there I'm not really sure but the easiest way is simply to find where the octave appears on your string by playing it um, if your hearing is sensitive enough you, you can tell where it is or to make things easy you might want to use <coughs> excuse me a little tuning device like this um, cost about 15 pounds very useful little thing that um, okay mm <laughs> 